early cap sizes for both Oracle and ETNZ set the stage. So all forecasts just went out the window last weekend as round three of the America's Cup World Series offered some major upsets. Hello Jack and welcome back on NC Sports. Thanks for being with us. Hi Mia, great to be here again. Now, the action was all in Chicago, obviously, for the AC World Series. What's your take on this round three weekend? Well, a couple of real points. One, very happy to see Dean Barker and Team Japan do so well, get on the podium for the first time. Two, really enthusiastic crowds. They had great weather on Saturday. They had to wait a little while to see the race. On Sunday, the weather was a lot cooler, but the racing was a lot hotter. It was really a great weekend for racing and some really entertaining racing too. Really a good show. Once again, there were big enthusiastic crowds. The people in the Chicago area really came out in force. Lots of enthusiasm and a really professionally run event by the event organizers. They got some entertaining racing on Sunday. They had to wait around a long time on Saturday because actually for the TV schedule, they lost another full day. That's another little piece of the bad news. Um, the boundaries turned into a bit of a problem once again with the tight course. The last race, three of the boats got penalties for going out of bounds. These results in Chicago show that really any one team can make it to the top. What's your take on uh, the balance of power three games away from the end of the season? Yeah, well certainly Team Japan scored their first two race victories with the winning in the first and the fourth races. Their, that was their first podium, so that was really great news for them. Shouldn't be too much of a surprise though when you look at the lineup. Dean Barker steering, Chris Draper doing tactics, Jero Lomas and um, Eric Sayward uh, on the boat for trimming and grinding, and Fuku uh, as the one Japanese crewman who's also an experienced sailor. So not a surprise that they did really well. Balance of power, you've still got the big three and everybody else. Even though Artemis won their second regatta, they're still 30 points behind Team New Zealand. And if you look at the, the other team, the big three, which is Emirates Team New Zealand at the top of the leaderboard, BAR in second place, but tied on points with Oracle Team USA, those three teams are only separated by 10 points. So it's certainly going to come down to how those three shake out, who carries the bonus points into the round robin qualifiers next year. Thank you for linking in with us, Jack, and we'll catch up soon. Hey, my pleasure. Look forward to talking with you again, Mia.